Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. For nearly 20 years, Safety Systems has been protecting East Tennessee homes and businesses. They have the best equipment and they offer terrific monitoring services. Best of all, they're local. They are right here. So when you call them, you're calling a Knoxville number. When somebody's monitoring your home, your business, they're right here in Knoxville. Local security solutions, safety systems. All right, back with the former Vols here. Tennessee's offense has looked good in the second half against Georgia Tech, in the fourth quarter against Florida, uh, Indiana State, if you want to count, uh, FCS squad. That's about it. Uh, they had two plays yesterday of more than 10 yards. Two, the entire game. Uh, they tried the Wildcat for play. Okay, nothing. They went five wide to start the thing. All right, we're going to let Dormady do what he does best. Interception. Nothing was working for them. If you were rebuilding things in this open week, what do you hang your hat on? You would normally say, okay, what do we do well? What does this team do well at this point, David? <laughs> well, I, I thought about, you know, hey, the pressure's on and, you know, maybe a hurry up is something. But, you know, when you go one for 12 on third down conversions when you need to get a first down, eh, yeah. maybe not. But the thing that I think about is, you know, when we are able to run the ball with John Kelly and he does some special things, I feel like maybe that could be a strength. So what I'm doing this, this off week, which is typically what you would do any off week, is it, it's going to get physical. You're going to do some nine on eight stuff and, you know, you're going to put the, the worries of getting people hurt aside. I mean, maybe that's something they're going to think about and be like, well, we don't want to be too physical because last year was the injury bug year. Don't play, don't play scared. Get out there and, and you know hit hit some pads together. You know get tougher and maybe maybe you can get something going. Well, let me ask you too. There, there's basically three options I see. One, change coach. It's been done before. Johnny Majors made a move on Ken Donahue. Open date week in 1988. Okay, it's it's happened. Uh, option two, change the system. It's unlikely. I mean, you've you've used that system. Butch has used that system his whole coaching career for the most part. I don't see that happening. It's possible, highly unlikely, I would think. And the last option is change the players. What's the easiest one of those is change the players, and that's why it would be right. my guess that that was what he would do. Your thoughts, where are you going with this? How do you, how do you rebuild this in an open week? I'm just giving, like you said, change players, give everyone a shot. You know, the two things you know you're doing well right now is getting Kelly in space, or when you have that opportunity to get him in space, and a jump ball to Callaway. You know, worst case scenario, just throw a deep ball to Cowboy every single time, and you got a chance of making a play. <laughs> well, that sounds <laughs> crazy. But, but, yeah, I mean, that, that, I mean that's, that's what I saw yesterday. Yeah. Your offense devolved yesterday into screen passes and low percentage deep balls. You know, that were well. That, that were underthrown, yeah. 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 But, I mean, those aren't going to be high percentage plays anyway. I mean, you're throwing deep down the field on the outside, that's tough. Um, Sterling, where do you start? Well, I, I would get back all the way back to the basics. I think the one thing this offense does have is that they, I believe they are all friends. And friends want to get each other better. Uh, you got an extra week. Take that extra time as friends and as athletes and as football players to get out there and do extra work that the coaches don't even know anything about. They're not on the field with you. It's just you against whoever team lines up against us. You've got to know more about each other as players. Take that time while you have it, and I think it'll turn into way more points for the offense. All right, let me ask you this. Um, if, if you're Butch Jones, do you say we're three and two, there's seven games left, we've got to start thinking about next year. And it would also maybe alleviate some pressure if he goes young. Is it too soon to be saying, seniors, thanks for your efforts, take a seat? We need Garantano in there over Dormady. We need the young guys who are going to be, have to be here for more years than some of the old guys. Colton Jumper, thanks for leading the SEC in sacks remarkably. Sit down, we're going with the young guys. Is it too soon to be doing that? No, I don't think so. I don't, I'm, and the coach is Tough always, on the seniors, but. It, it is, but it doesn't mean that they can't come play. I mean, if they yeah. show improvement, that's the problem I think a lot of coaches get into is they get in that habit of like, that's my guy. Oh, I know he's the, he's the right guy. And they never look at the guy behind them. He said it in the press conference, I think it was after the game, is saying, hey, everybody's position's open. That's a cliche. Yeah, it is. Let's see some action. And younger players out there may be that he's doing it. All right, quick yay or nay. Are you again I'm that or for that? I'm not. I'm personally not for it. I think if the young guy is better than the guy in front of him playing, but I'm not for that thing about next year. We're still 3-2. and two. We still got a winning record. We still got something to play for. All right. I side with that, but I think it is time to get more of those guys in and start building that depth that we talked about. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, when we come back... 
should Tennessee, is there a reason to make the move now? A lot of people said that if he doesn't make, if John Curry doesn't make the move overnight and Butch Jones is still the coach in the morning, then they ought to fire him too. He stinks too. Well, here's the thing. Butch Jones is still the coach as of right now. Will he be the coach at the end of the season? We'll discuss. And then also, um, just, well, we'll get into the Butch Jones. Come on back.